Welcome back to the channel. Scam week might be over, but the scams haven't stopped. So last week was scam week where we went through a different auction vehicle every day and tore into it. Now these are third party auction cars that somebody picked up from the auction, did a little bit of work to it, not properly, just to make it look better in the pictures, hoping that some unsuspecting buyer is just gonna bid on it and be in for a unpleasant surprise when they find out that there's a lot more involved than they originally thought. So we dissect them so that you guys don't fall victim to these sellers. Now, I did find a couple other ones and this is the first one. It's from our favorite sellers over in Capitol Heights, Maryland. So let's dig into it. So our featured vehicle for today is a 2022 Jeep Wrangler Unlimited Sahara Edition. It's provided to us by our favorite sellers in Capitol Heights, Maryland. Uh, there is no seller, so you know it's a third party auction car. Uh, this one, actually has a Maryland title. And I haven't showed this before, but it does have a video of it running. So you can take a look at that sometimes, verify that it runs first of all, but you can see a little bit more than you can see in the underhood picture sometimes. So I do like that. Uh, the ticking sound, you can't necessarily attribute that to any kind of engine damage because for some reason it picks up all the metal clanking sounds even on an engine that runs just fine. So I can't say that that has a bad lifter or anything, but it is possible. Let's get into our Jeep and see if we can figure out what they did to it. So starting right here, I see a little damage on this fender. Our hood isn't latched. And it looks like we have something going on here. There's an awful lot of space in the hood and grill over here and not so much right there. Everything else doesn't look too bad over here. Maybe a little crack in this grill. Our fender flare here is kind of just hanging there. Pulled away. Move around. Okay, we got a little damage back here. Uh, looks like we got a cracked reflector, but we definitely have some damage behind this bumper and on this quarter, and the doors pulled out at the top. So I'm going to say this thing was hit in the back end and they replaced this bumper because this does not match. There should be damage on this bumper for what this looks like. There's really no way to get to that without getting this. So and we're missing a spare tire. Not sure where that went. Maybe it was damaged. Our top looks okay. I don't see anything on that, but we definitely have some gap issues here. So this is in pretty good. I'd be worried about the frame in there. Yes, I'm definitely worried about the frame. You can see that this side of the vehicle is a little bit shorter than this side. And these frames can't be repaired. So you'd have to replace it. So if somebody's not watching, they're going to get stuck having to put a frame on it. And speaking of expensive parts, looks like our top has a little damage here in the corner. All I'm seeing right now, definitely have a gap issue here. Looks like they have some door edge guard on it maybe. And what do we have in here? Doesn't look like any airbags deployed. Seats look okay. You can definitely see we got some damage here. And our grill is definitely not fitting right. I don't like the paint on that hood either. Almost looks like it's been repainted. Twenty-two thousand eight hundred and sixty-eight miles. Too close to see any other dash emojis, other than the doors open. We definitely have some damage here on our cap. 
guess you could repair that if you like fiberglass work. And we definitely have a seatbelt pretensioner that's deployed. It's draped over here. So something happened. There's our VIN. Let's see, what we got under here. We definitely have a crack in our grill here, some scrapes. Our headlights not sitting in there right. I don't see anything else under here that looks suspicious. Except for this hood liner has some strange marks on it. And it's missing a push pin or two. So it looks like they might have replaced this hood. Hard to tell about the fenders. You got a key. Yeah, I def definitely don't like that paint on the hood. So I'm pretty sure they replaced that hood. Damage there. Our door is definitely pulled out at the top, probably because this is all pushed in here. I would say that it was probably worse than this. But I would expect the top to be damaged. So maybe they replaced it with a damaged one. I'm not sure. Let's take a look at our 360 view and see if there's anything we can see there that we couldn't see in our pictures. Uh, same damage over here we can see. Almost the same as the picture we had. Definitely looks like that should be flat in there. So something, something's not straight inside there. We do have an interior picture, so we can take a look at that. Our airbags look good even from here. Nothing too concerning here, except for maybe all the marks on or panels up here. All right, well, now we know what it looks like. What do you think it looked like before the doctors got their hands on it? Let's see. Enhance, enhance, enhance. Okay, well, we know how our grill got broken. We know why our hood was replaced and our fender's still hanging down. Uh, it looks like they replaced the mirror because it was broken here. Uh, yeah, they definitely replaced the top because this is all busted out. And it definitely needs a frame. I guarantee they didn't put one on there. And I think we know where our spare tire went. Probably right here, because this one's flat. So they definitely put a bumper on it, put a tail light in it, straightened out this quarter, straightened out the frame a little bit, put a back glass in. They definitely put a top on it because there's no way they, that side they might have been able to put it back together. This one, no. So it definitely had a top put on it. A mirror on this side, so it looks like it rolled over. 
a little more damage over here, so. Yeah, it definitely rolled over, which explains the marks on the hood liner. That's oil from when it was upside down or on its side. Caddy Wampus back here. We don't have any airbags that deployed, but that's where our seatbelts went because it got hit in the back end. So this one's probably deployed as well. Oh, they managed to put one mile on it. Probably just moving it around the lot. So let's see. We got it, 628 of 23, and they ran it for the last couple of weeks and haven't sold it yet. So somebody could be in a little financial trouble if they buy this thing, because by the time they put a frame on it, they're going to spend quite a bit of money, not to mention all the other little odds and ends that it's going to need that they clearly didn't fix. A grill. I don't know what the fender looks like. Why they left the fender flare hanging down. Maybe the fender's too messed up to bolt it up. Have to buy a wheel. Whatever's damaged back here. And a top. I don't know how good that used one that they got was, but it might need to be replaced. And they want eighteen eight for it for a buy it now price. Luckily, our scammers haven't found a victim for their Jeep just yet. As a matter of fact, they haven't even gotten as much in the auction as they've paid for it originally before they had their hands on it. So hopefully they're stuck with this thing because if somebody does end up buying it and they don't realize they have to put a frame under it, they're really gonna be in deep. And if they don't have the facilities to put a frame underneath it and have to pay somebody to do it, they may end up paying more for that Jeep than they could have just went to the dealer and bought one for. So hopefully we can educate enough people on what to look for in the auction and the kind of scams that are out there so that nobody does become a victim. So if you're not already, subscribe to the channel because I will be doing more of these. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.